Welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about Anfinsen's experiment and protein folding. Anfinsen was working at National Institute of Health. The hypothesis he put forward was native folded functional structure of a protein is determined by protein's amino acid sequence. It is it was also called as thermodynamic hypothesis. The enzyme selected for the experiment was ribonuclease A. It is a single polypeptide enzyme protein that consists of four disulfide bonds and approximately 124 amino acids. And this is the experiment setup. Uh, this is a native ribonuclease enzyme. As we mentioned, it is a 124 amino acid protein consisting of four polypeptide, four disulfide bonds. First of all, he he, he subjected this enzyme to in the presence of a reducing agent like urea and mercaptoethanol or either by heating he denatured the enzyme he found that the disulfide bond uh, broke and as a result the protein became non-functional in the next step he removed this reducing agent or, or, or cooled the solution so that he found that it reformed the disulfide bond and the protein becomes functional again and this was the experiment conducted by Anfinsen and this was the first experiment suggesting that the primary structure of the protein has the information for forming the tertiary structure and also to fold into a functional, fully functional protein and this was a conclusion the sequence of amino acids in a peptide chain determines the folding pattern or the primary structure has a program for forming a fully folded functional protein under appropriate conditions and he was awarded with Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1972 for this work especially the association of amino acid sequence and uh, and its role in giving a fully functional biologically active conformation for a protein hope things are clear thank you so much for watching you are with biologyexamsforyou.com